Okay, just to quickly clarify what we were talking about here. Um, this question, to find the shortest distance between these two parallel planes, they're both given in parametric form. So you need to convert one of the parametric forms into the Cartesian form. And to do that, you need to find a vector which is perpendicular to this and this, hence me having the 833 from here and the 401. And we're trying to find something that's perpendicular to both of them. So I dot producted them, came up with these two equations, gave z a value that gave me some nice answers over here, solved the equations, and came up with what the normal was 1, 4 over 3, and minus 4, but I gave it all integers by multiplying everything through by 3. Then I needed to find out what the rest of the Cartesian equation was. So I found out that r dot n is equal to a dot n. So that's r dot n is equal to a point that's on the plane. The point that's on the plane is 3, 4, 1, because I can see that it must be on the plane. And I do that multiplied by, or dotted with n, which gives me 13. So then the equation of the plane is 3x plus 4y minus 12z equals 13, which rearranges to this. And then because there's so many numbers on my page, I wrote that the coordinate that I was trying to find the shortest distance with, which is this one here, alpha, beta, gamma, 14, 2, and 2, that's my point, which is alpha, beta, gamma. The value of n was 3, 4, minus 12, and the value of d was minus 13. Then we do the easy bit, which is putting into the formula, and you get the answer 1. So it's pretty full on, but the thing that takes a long time there is finding the equation of the plane in scalar form rather than its parametric form. So I'm not going to ask you to do that many more of those, but I'll have to do one more later for homework.